Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about Bubba, the Gamma Razor, Big Bubba, 137. What happened to the racket? Well, five years ago, this, this racket right here, I couldn't keep the racket on my demo wall. People kept wanting to try it. I had a touring professional named Matt Seberger using it on tour. Like he played in challengers, futures, singles, doubles with this racket. A touring professional, ATP. He basically bought these rackets and decided to use them. And I strung these for him too at one of the tournaments, I was like, I couldn't believe it. A touring professional using this racket. I was like, what is going on here? So a lot of people wanted to try this thing, right? So what is it about this? It's 137 square inches, 29 inches long, right? So that's pretty much the limits of what you can do that's allowable by the USTA in a tennis racket. That's the biggest head you can probably have and definitely the longest you can definitely have. But here's the kicker though. This racket without strings is less than 10 ounces. It's 9.9 .9 ounces. Where's the weight? Well, the weight's all in the head, right? Most of that 9.9 .9 is in the head because if they made this light, that's automatic tennis elbow right there. So it also has that razor technology. Um, the way this is shaped cuts through the air. It kind of has that triangular shape like the arrow pros. That's why they call it the razor because it cuts through the air. Now let's analyze this racket and see what was good about it and maybe talk about what happened to it. Well, let's get started. Let's check it out here. We're gonna balance it first. Let's have my balance board over here. Whoa, there we go, whoa. I know one of you on your comments, I do read those comments, wanted me to see if I can suspend the racket like that, ooh, without it touching. That's kind of really hard. It's at 39. So 390. Pretty head heavy, 390. All right, let's go to the scale. At the scale, man, I feel this weight. It's crazy. Let's see where it even, where I can even put it on here. Perfect, right there. So 296, and that's with that dampener on there. Let's check the swing weight. This is a big, this is gonna be a big number right here. The swing weight's gonna be huge. Three ninety-four. All right. So let's go analyze. The weight is two ninety-six. That's in the ten five range. S strung. That's really light for something this big, um, and long. Balance three ninety. That's, that's what we expected, right? Head weight. Swing weight, 394. That's above any of the pro rackets that I have. That's like a Mack truck coming at you. It's like a Mack truck striking that tennis ball. The beam is 22, 24, 22. So that 24 number is in the center of the racket at the three and nine. Um, forms up right there. 
but the flex rating is a 64 only. So it's not super stiff, right? 64 on a big racket like this, you would expect it to be thicker and more powerful. But because it's two inches longer, you want the whip from the racket. What happened to the racket? It was on fire five years ago. Couldn't keep this racket in stock. I was selling pairs. I was selling three of these at a time to people. I was stringing these things. This racket actually takes a lot of string. Like one set of string will not cover this. You need like that extra long string, like some of that Wilson sensation that's like 46 feet will fit on this. Other than that, I was pulling reels and using reels of string on this. Um, a lot of the times I was hybriding this with poly and synthetic. So uh, we had to, you know, basically compensate for a lot of string. So those people who owned it and I would talk and I was like, oh, you still loving it? And they're like, oh my gosh, when I get this thing going, it's, it's unstoppable. The comments I heard was powerful right a lot of power massive power heavy ball this gave me a heavy ball massive amount of spin i would say all of those people who use this racket were men they were kind of i want to say men in their mid 30s to mid 50s i had one surprisingly woman use it um which shocked me <laughs> but then the woman didn't play like that obviously most of her game was kind of in front of her but she plays well i mean she's a 4-0 player uh, so the men right started kind of falling off after a little while uh, none of them use it now and i said what's going on like oh my arm started hurting my shoulder started hurting it's probably because there's so much weight in the head that unless you time it right, your extremities, your arm, your shoulders will start feeling the punishment from this racket because there's just a lot to come through um, constantly. Even playing doubles, right? The serve takes a toll on you because you gotta throw that 394 swing weight around. All right, so that's what I constantly kept hearing. Oh, my arm hurt, I couldn't use it anymore. Uh, most of those guys went to a smaller head, standard length. Some of them went to like a half inch longer um, on a standard length because they missed this length. But I mean, I don't have a single player um, in this area using this anymore. So it kind of died off. I know it's still out there, and I know certain people still, you know, love it. Um, and that's great because if you can use it, it's definitely a huge benefit to you. They do make a, a smaller version of this. It's called the Big Bubble 117. And I had one person using it. Um, that person also switched out. But hey, that this is the number one selling racket that Gamma has ever made. This is the, the most, they sold, in this racket, they've sold the most rackets in their history. This racket put Gamma on the map. They have never sold so many rackets in the history of that company, which is great for them. I mean, it's, it's you know, who would have thought of something like this and be successful with it, right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.